All right, so we back. So, but like I always like to mention, you know, to our people to let them know what, uh, uh, you know, you got this, uh, uh, you got this wicked spirit out here going around in Israel right now, you know, basing this thing off color, you know, and that's one of the things that we don't push. You know, we don't base this thing off color. Now, color can be an indicator for the most part, you know, you know, but that's deceiving. Okay, so that's why we gotta try the spirit by the spirit, okay? And look, you know, I know history, you know? Different brothers out here on the same accord with me, we know of history. So we know a lot of our people uh, with white skin complexion go back to our people. We know the history of, of these things, okay? A lot of the people of, I of Ireland, okay? A lot of the people of Scotland, Sic uh, Sicily, okay? They have white skin complexion, but when it goes back, what? They're really, they're really Negroes, okay? That's what they really are, you know? They might look white, you know, but they got spirits of Israelites, okay? You know, they just look, they just look white, you know? But then you got some of the people of our own complexion that's as dark as me or darker than me. They're not our people at all, okay? So, the, man, there's a big difference of, of, of really what's the vibration that people are putting out here. You know? But, you know, that's a different topic, you know? I thought we were all equal, man. Huh? I thought all men were equal and the God died. You said you thought they were all, we were all equal? Yeah, all equal. Every man equal, but God died, we are all equal. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe that. That's the Bible I read, said. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people and to the Lord thy God. The Lord God have chosen thee to be a special people and to himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Heavenly Father have chosen a particular group, the Israelites, to be a special people unto himself yeah, that's God's and, people. and they are above all people. So yeah, no. They, they are God's people. It says people above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we're above all people. Yeah. Okay. We're just in a wicked low estate right now. Yeah. You know? There's wicked everywhere. In every, in every, in every place, color. Uh, we know that. We, we know that there's wicked. There's uh, our people, some of our people are wicked, but who is the wicked? Not to follow the Lord. That's, I mean, yeah, they're wicked, but there's a particular race that is wicked. Which one is that? The nation of Edom. Where that's at? Edom. Edom. The so-called white man's nationality is their forefather. They come from Edom. They come from Esau. So, so me, I no, they come the ones from Edomite descent. Oh. Now, that's why I was ex just explaining to you, not everyone with your complexion, that don't mean you're an Edomite. Man, I'm poor black. I see, everybody with your complexion is not an Edomite, you know? Right, right, but I mean, I'm poor, I'm poor, I'm poor, uh, I'm poor. Every man is just proof that we all come from Africa. No, that's not true. Uh -huh. That's not true. That's not true? That's not true. I thought that's what they said, that they found, that they found a room where, man, where Adam, and, where the Garden of Eden was, was in Africa. That's not oh, true. Equate, equate. We don't come from Africa. I'm not African. Yeah? Africans are not my people. Really? Yeah, they're not. They're dark as me, but they're not my people. Yeah. Galatians 4 and 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. That's the homeland. Okay, Jerusalem. That's the homeland, so we all, so we all born. That's the homeland. That and for, you know, the homeland. That where the Garden of Eden was? That's a homeland for the, that's our homeland for the Israelites. Tell me that? Around them, around that area. Around that area? Yeah. So we all come from the same place. That means nothing. That means nothing? Who, okay, do you know who the so-called white race came from? No. They came from Rebecca. Rebecca? Rebecca. Where is that? It's a woman. A she woman? had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Oh, okay. She had two sons. That's where the, the race 
That's where the nationality of them people come from. We all have nationalities on this earth. Right. Okay, so it's not bad what color you are would make you of a particular race. Because when you look into the word race, race means a people who comes from the Latin, the Latin uh, I think it's a Latin or Italian. I think Italian word raza, okay, which means people of this of common descent. Okay, and these people are the same of the common common descent. Okay, we come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Same goes back to the people, like I said, of Ireland. Okay, a lot of our people are from Ireland. Uh, 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 Scotland. Okay, uh, Italy, uh, Sicily. Okay, a lot of them have what? Your skin complexion. But what? They're really Negroes. Okay, you watch UFC? Yeah. You know Conor McGregor? Yeah. I'm gonna just say it plain. He's a nigga. Yeah. Conor McGregor. But people by skin complexion would say what? He's a white boy. Oh, but, but, uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get something straight. See, they call, they, they'll call a black man a nigga. But let me tell you what a nigga really is. I they know what it really is. They got white niggas, they got Mexican niggas. Niggas is the low, it's not the color of a man's skin. No, because see. Because if you look in, the, in, in, there's not even a, such a word in a dictionary. See, I said, see, look, nigga. look, 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 look. That's no if word. If you want to say, they really got that word. Uh, uh, from um, Niger, which means to be dark. Right. That's where they really got that term from. Yeah, which because means that word's not in the dictionary. That's where they. That's where they really got it from. Right. But, but they, you, like, well, like you say though, I, I believe that the word nigga is for people that are low class, that are fucking, that are trash of the earth. Is what it doesn't come from a color of a man's skin called nigger. That is not. A, they got white people that are that are scum. They got black people that are scum. They got Mexican people that are scum. Everybody well, I, every I know, I know what you're saying because people use it in, in, in more like in an ignorant it, term. Yeah, in an ignorant that, term. But that's not what I'm yeah. using that for. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I was that, just saying it for a people, somebody to understand what right, I'm talking about. Right. Because right, I'm not black. All right. No one's white. Right. You know, because if you look at your shirt. Yeah. Look it's, at my shirt. My shirt's not white. Your really, shirt's, it really ain't white. What is it? That's all you see is white. The, your shirt. I don't know what color it is, your, but it really ain't white. That's, shirt, that's what you see. No, is your white. shirt is white. Yeah, but that's what you see. But really and true, that's not really what color it is. What that's color just, is it? I have no idea. No, your shirt's white and like my that, shirt like is black. Like that bus can be, if we see it as orange, that's that like bus might orange. be blue. You know? No, and, no, nah, no. but what I'm saying is, man, is we see colors different. Just like our eyes. We our eyes are flipped forward. We are really upside down. Our eyes are huh? really up. No. Yeah, really. See, study. the reason why Check I say I don't it. call you white because, uh, uh, you know, the, the the Caucasian race are really red. Yeah, yeah. Red. You know why? Because they don't have no melanin. Oh, really? They're the only nation on earth of the people, of these people, that have no melanin in their skin. Yeah. Every other nation on earth has melanin in their skin. Really. really? So that's called a lack of pigmentation. Yeah. Okay. That's the curse of Cain. But but if you but but if you look it up, a color that you see is not actually the color that you are. I'm telling you. I, I'm. If, if if anything, huh? No, no, just say twelve stripes. Yeah. If anything, you know, I, I don't base myself on color. Right. If any color I will be, we're all. We mad all people, eat. we're all shades of brown. We all. Okay, because we come from the earth. God died, we're all equal. I just read to you what, what God said. Right, right. You 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 ain't taking it. But how you doing, brother? <laughs> alright. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. Oh, alright. Well, oh, go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, you. Bro, what you see here. Yeah. This is the pro a proverb and a byword that got put on us. So we are called by these names. You know, these different names. But this, the Heavenly Father gave us these names to be called by. Okay? So that's why that's there to break it down. Any leaflets? Any pamphlets? Huh? Any pamphlets? What's that? Oh no, I'm just out here every week. Yo, you watch it every week. Yeah, I'm out here every Saturday. Your name? Arya. Arya. What does that mean? Huh? What does the name mean? Arya? Yeah. It, means, oh, it means lion in Hebrew. Oh. That was our original language before people got brought over on the slave ships and things like that. Okay. So, so 
Hebrew. We are Hebrews. We are Hebrew. We are the real Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Okay. Of the Bible. So Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, King David, them are our forefathers. Oh, okay. You know, and who you call, who they call Jesus, basically in another way, since he's our cousin. You know, just the, you know. Well, he's from David's time. Huh? He's from David's roots. Yeah, he's from the root of David. Okay. Yeah, he's from the root of David. You right. You right. You I could... forget this bus, but um, if you hear every Saturday, I'll meet you on Saturday. All right. What time it begins? The time it begin? Mm -hmm. Uh, I usually try to get out here. Uh, I usually be try to get out here by like two o'clock. You know, but I came out early today. Okay. So I'll probably be here for another, maybe another forty-five minutes. Okay. You know. So you come from about two to three. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like sometimes. Nah. Sometimes I'd be here like two to five. Okay. Two to four. Two to four. Two to five. So I try to stay here, preach the word as long as I could, you know, hoping to, you know, get it to somebody's head if they get it now or get it later. But, you know, just doing my uh, reasonable service to the Heavenly Father and the Son. So what kind of um, Bible is this? Uh, 1611 King James Version. King James, okay. Right. So you sell Bibles too? Huh? Do you sell Bibles? No. Okay, okay. I, uh, Amazon. I got this on Amazon. Oh, okay. So what... What um, Isaiah? Isaiah? Isaiah 41.10 says. Isaiah 41.10. Let's see. Isaiah 41 and 10. It says 41 and 10. It says, Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, Fear thou not, oh. for I am with thee. Right. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Right. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with right, with the right with hand of righteousness. The right hand of my righteousness. That's right. right. That's right. Keep us going. Done. All right, so on. Okay. But uh, I wanted to get um the one guy's bus cam. Okay. You know, cause he said we're above. Uh, all people, you know, I mean he tried to say we're all equal, but I try to tell him look the Heavenly Father has made us above all people Okay, because the world was made for our sakes so Let's get that second Ezra's 6 and 54 Says, And after these Adam also whom thou made us Lord of thy creatures of whom come we all And the people also whom thou chosen so people like you know to say we come from Adam, okay? That's right, we do come at, from Adam, okay? But there's a chosen people within Adam, okay? Or there's a chosen people out of, I mean, there's a slot. There's a chosen people out of, there's a people chosen out of Adam who's the Heavenly Father chosen to himself. And it says, All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. And as for the other people, which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto a spittle, and has likened the abundance of them into a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to, got, begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So that's right, the Heavenly Father says what? These heathens, okay, begun to be over us okay so that's why all these other nations is over us okay so-called white man Edom okay the Chinese Moab Japanese Hammond okay East Indian Elam why you see them all around your neighborhoods they got all the grocery store they got not the grocery stores uh you know the nail shops okay the Chinese little chicken spots the little uh, mini marts they all own them you know, because what, all these nations are over us, okay? These heathen begin to be lords over us, okay? All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord. Salah, salah, salah. It says, but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten and thy forever and lover are given into their hands. 
If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? So Edris is asking, you know, inquiring what? If the world was made for our sakes, Lord, why don't we, why don't we, why don't we uh, possess an inheritance with the world? How can we not uh, uh, eating along and rich with these other nations while they getting fat and glutton? You know, because what? We are still under the curses. Okay, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, okay? The curses are still upon us, okay? Because the only way our curse is gonna get lifted is until we get to the kingdom. So until then, these nations are gonna be over us and rule over us, okay? It says, how long shall this endure? So Edras is asking this question, okay? How long is this gonna endure? The same thing our people say now. Well, if you're saying that we're the Lord's chosen people, why are we on a bottle? Uh, why are we still in this condition? You know, how long are we gonna go through this? We're gonna continue to suffer and go through this to what? To our Lord and Savior come back. That's how long we're gonna go through this, okay? You know? But what? We know this is our last captivity that we'll go through, okay? This is our last captivity, you know? There will be no more captivity for, uh, for, for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Because this is our last one, okay? And then what, the kingdom of heaven? When we're gonna rule in righteousness, okay? But what, we continue like to bring out what? We are in this condition because of what? Because what our forefathers did, not following his law, statutes, and commandments, okay? But I wanna get a precept. You know what, I don't even, I'll, I'll get one for that, you know? I could drop that. Okay. Um, Daniel 9 and 11. I'll start at verse 10. It says, Neither. I'll start at 9. It says, To the Lord our power belongs with mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against them. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yahweh, our power, to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Okay, that's right. So the Heavenly Father sent prophets out to our people, our forefathers, but they didn't want to hearken to him. They said, well, we're going to do what we want to do. Okay? That's why we're in the conditions that we're in right now. And it says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law even by departing that they might not obey the voice therefore the curse is poured upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses the servant of the most high because we have sinned against them so that's that curse that I was speaking of or what the Deuteronomy the 28th chapter okay that what we should no longer be the head then we should be the tail okay that we will be smite with what? Uh, uh, madness and blindness? That what? Uh, uh, we was prophesied to come over here on cargo slave ships to be sold uh, uh, as, as slaves here in America. That's all in the prophecies in Deuteronomy 28. Okay? You know, well, we fit the curses. Okay? Well, it was because what? Our people didn't hearken to the law, statutes, and commandments so the curse is poured upon us, okay? That's the reason. You know, but we'll be delivered out of this captivity real soon, okay? Because what? Esau, Edom, so-called white man, the, the elites know, they know their kingdom is falling, okay? They know what's falling, you know? We're just waiting on a couple more prophecies and then we're out of here, okay? Let me get a, uh, here we go. Second Ezra 6 and 8 says, And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. So what, Jacob, that was a resemblance of Jacob pulling Esau out of power. Now who is Jacob? 
Jacob is the progenitor of what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And what? Who is Esau? The progenitor of the so-called white race, Edom. Okay, the ones of, of Edomite descent, okay, not the ones that's confusion of faces. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That's right, okay. So that's another cut when people say, Well, if it's gonna be the end of the world, the whole world gonna be destroyed. No, okay, because what Jacob is the beginning of that followeth, okay. And when it says the end of the world, it's talking about what Esau's rulership. Okay, they're they're going out of rulership. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, you know, and and, and I guess and at the same time, it's, it's it's real beautiful, you know, to see the fall of this devil. Okay, it's very beautiful. Um. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 4 So it says one generation passes away And another generation is coming But the earth abided forever That's right, okay So the earth is going to abide forever Okay You know So what? You know Esau's rulership is going down You know We're up next to rule Okay And we're going to rule on righteousness Okay So what? Uh, uh, also what? The kingdom When they say the kingdom of heaven That's a condition Okay Because the kingdom of heaven it's for the Israelites, okay? Because we are going to rule. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, okay? okay? So the destruction of the so-called white man society, you know, that should uplift uh, uh, the spirit of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? We're not going to be put in this, in this wicked estate, okay? You know, going through all these unrighteous decrees, okay? Curses will be off of us. <clears throat> you know, and we'll have to, you know, just be in righteousness. You know, be able to be with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai again. You know, you know, it's just it's an everlasting kingdom, man. You know, word, words cannot fathom, you know, how beautiful this it will be. You know, we we cannot fathom how beautiful it will be in the kingdom. Okay. All right, so let me go back to Hey man, cuz Esau came up talking about some color and some uh when you see color of the bus, if it's orange, it might not be orange or as it's turned upside down. I man, what the hell are you talking about, Esau? I don't know what you talking about, man. Get out of here with that, man. You know? Um, I want to jump down from Matthew 24. Well, I could read down, you know what? Now I'll jump 24. It says, Because when therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him which is, in, is on thy housetop not come down to take anything out of, out of his house. That's right, because that was talking about 70 AD, okay, when Jer Jerusalem was being besieged. But also talking about is now as well, okay? So, you know, you hear a martial law declare, uh, uh, you know, in wherever you're at, you know, you can't go back into the house. So it's not talking about literally on the top of your house. You know, don't come down to the house top. It's talking about if what you know, if you hear of martial law declared and that your uh, uh, your streets and your city is blocked off, you can't go back there. Okay. It says it says, let him which is in that is on the house top not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. That's right. Don't go get anything. Okay. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. So that's talking about people with just having children, okay? Hey, cause when tribulations come and you got a child with you, hey man, that that's gonna be uh, uh that's gonna be hard to bear, man. You know, you not 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 knowing when your child might may get his next meal. You know, 
your child may slow you down. You know, uh, 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 you might be trying to hide from uh, martial law troops and your baby might start crying and they find you. You know, there's so many different things that can take place uh, 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 with the child, you know? It's gonna be a burden to, for a lot of people, you know? You know, and some of the people are going to just have their children just because cannibalism is coming back, okay? And it says, but pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the seventh day. Because right, the seventh day is a day of rest. Also, if you're in a cold uh, 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 area, you know, more like up north, you know, uh, uh, and these things start to happen, hey man, everybody know it's harder to survive in the cold. You know, it's not won't be easier, you know, as being in a place like, you know, it's Florida, you know, it's, it's a lot harder. Okay. And she says, for then shall be great tribulations, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No nor ever shall be. You know? So man, hey, it's great tribulations that's gonna happen, you know. Like this has never happened before, you know. And yes, it's gonna happen in, in these days, okay? These are the days that are gonna happen. So yes, in your lifetime, okay? But it says, verse 22, And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's right, okay? It's all about the elect, okay? We always teach about the elect, okay? It's not this whole big Israel festivity, okay? It's about the, the elect. So the days will be shortened for what? For the elect's sake, okay? It says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here's the Messiah, or there believe it not. For there shall arise many false messiahs and false prophets, and show great signs and wonders, and so much, and for were possible that they shall deceive the very elect. So that's gonna be it's like it's gonna be like a very strong delusion on the people, and so much that what? Like it'll deceive the elect, the elect. Okay? That's why they got that thing called the Project Blue Beam. Okay? It's like a hologram where it shows hologram images. Hey, they're gonna place it in the, in the sky and act like the Lord is gonna come back. Meanwhile, we know when the Lord is coming back, and it tells us how he's, how he's gonna come back. Okay, let's read. Okay, it's gonna break it down. Verse twenty-five. It says, "Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if you shall say unto you, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in a desert, go not forth. Behold, he is into a secret chambers, believe it not." For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shining even into the west, so shall the also of the coming of the Son of Man be. That's right, okay? The coming, the, the Son of Man gonna be coming from the east, okay? For whatsoever the carcass is there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Right, a lot, a lot of nuclear missiles. It, it, it's you know, when it hits, you know, when it hits America, a lot of the smoke is going to rise up to what? It's going to block out. It's going to block out the sun and the moon. Okay. And it says, and there shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And there shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with great power and glory. And with in great glory, that's right. So that's how we gonna know that when that when it, when it, the Heavenly Father sends his son back, okay? Because he's gonna come with great glory with the angels. Okay? You're gonna see a whole bunch of chariots in the sky, okay? There's gonna be a big father ship, okay? And, and then a whole bunch of angels with it. Okay, which you people know as UFOs, okay? You know, y'all call them unidentified flying objects, okay? But they're identified to us because we know what they are, okay? Them are chariots of the Lord, okay? You know, they, them are coming back to save us, okay? We'll save the elect, okay? It's, it's gonna save the luck, save up the elect, beam up the elect, and you know, the rest of this place will be destroyed bound, okay? Let me get a precept. All right. Um. Let me get a precept. Um. Psalms 
2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. It says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. I just said when it when he come back, he's coming with the angels. Okay. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the most high. So that scripture right there, that cuts that God is all love, okay? And that cuts that when Jesus come back, that what? He's uh, you know, he's gonna be saving and he's gonna give everybody hugs. That cuts that, man, because it says what? Of when of what what's gonna happen when him and the angels come back? In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the most high, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach. So he's gonna take vengeance on you people, man. You know? Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? That's right. Okay? So you're gonna be punished. Okay? You people that don't know the mouth's hand, don't believe in the gospel, okay? You're gonna be punished. Okay? That's why the scripture says the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, okay? So that's when people like to, you know, they run around saying, you know, they don't believe. I don't care. Okay? I, I truly don't care. You know, that's that's not my problem. Um I'm trying to find it. I thought it was right here. Maybe it's in Salah. Thought I had it, but horror. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me see if I find it real quick, real quick. Where's it at? Hey man, I mean, no, it's the scripture, but I, for some reason I can't find it right now. Hey, but I, I, I know the scriptures say. Damn. You know, where it speaks, it says what? The, uh, the unfaithful. So that and her unfaithfulness. Let me see if I can get that real quick. You know, you know, but... Hey, you know, uh, uh, a lot of you people don't believe, you know, but guess what? At the end of the day, the gospel is hidden to you. Oh, here it go. Okay. Second Ezra 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So, man, that cuts that everybody, you know, everybody can make it and all that madness, okay? Because the scripture says the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, okay? So, so what if you don't believe, okay? You know, it doesn't matter, okay? You don't, you know, it doesn't harm nobody but yourself, okay? All right, before I go back, let me get a, one more, one more. Romans. Three and three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Jay, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. Okay? So what's what? If you don't believe, so what? Okay? Because guess what? You're going to believe when your house shines, the angels come back, like I'm reading right now in, in Matthew 24 chapter. You're going to believe when, when destruction start coming on this place, when people start getting, uh, uh, you know, killed by the thousands. Okay, you're gonna believe then. Okay, you're gonna know that there's a higher power doing these things on earth. Okay, so it says back in Matthew 24 and 30, 
and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels, and they shall gather, they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth to the other that's right okay so we were going to be gathered to the four corners of the earth okay the angels angels are going to gather us okay so there's no sense of uh you know uh people trying to uh run in different places and move to different places you know that's how the one girl i told her america gonna be destroyed she put a comment said what uh, uh well why i stay here you know won't you go to a different place I said no because guess what the heavenly father is going to send his son back and the angels are going to gather us for wherever we're at okay just like we read in matthew uh the 11th chapter speaks that okay he's going to gather the, the remnant a second time okay so we're going to be getting gathered wherever we're at if we're of the elect words why i hope to be in the sincere brothers pushing his word of truth and sincerity you know that we're going to be gathered from wherever we were scattered okay so let's read that again matthew 24 and 31 and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together as elect from the four winds from one end of the earth one end of heaven to the other okay and that's right okay so we're going to be gathered for wherever we're scattered at if we be of the elect because that's what it says what the righteous shall scarcely be saved because we don't know if we're of the elect or not okay you know but uh, let's see who is of of you know of the elect. Let's see who can be a part of the elect. Okay. Isaiah. Isaiah 45 and 4. I'll start at verse 3. This is a beautiful uh, I'm back. Got kind of windy out here. So Isaiah 45 3 says, And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, which is this knowledge, okay? This knowledge of the scriptures. We got the written riches in the dark places, okay? I mean, in secret places. It said that thou mayest know that I, Yahweh, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Okay, so it keeps saying, okay, speak to my people Israel. I am the God of Israel. Okay, all throughout the Bible. But here go uh, the elect. Okay, who can be a part of the elect and who is the Heavenly Father's servants? Okay, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Let's read that again. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. I have even called thee by thy name and have surnamed thee though thou hast not known me. Right? So only Israelites can be the servants. Only Israelites can be of that elect. Okay? Which when it said the elect shall be gathered to the four uh, winds of the earth. Okay? Only Israelites. Isaiah 65 and 9 uh, Isaiah 65 
and nine, start at verse eight, it says, thus saith Yahweh, as the new wine is found in the cluster and one say, say of destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so I will do for my servants' sakes, that I might not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah an inheritance, an inheritor of my mountains and mine elect shall inherit and my servants shall dwell there. That's right, okay? We know uh, Israel is the Lord's portion, okay? Israel is the elect, Israel is the servants. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, which is the Heavenly Father's name and His Son, He's dealing with the Israelites only, okay? No matter what you people think, okay? Because according to the scriptures, according to the Holy Bible, you know, that's the truth, all right? So all you brothers, stay strong, endure, keep pushing. We on my side here. Shalom.